Well, last night our planning and protocol team met and we, I think, worked out a pretty good plan for us to start with to get back toward the building. And one of the things I want to, to say is that when I re-listened to the bishop's statement, she asked us to stay outside as long as possible with our worship because it's the safest place we can be. And so we all took that pretty seriously last night as we, as we planned. And so our plan is this. On Wednesday nights, we are bringing our tailgate service from Sundays twice a month to Wednesdays weekly. And so that will happen every Wednesday at 6 p.m. all the way through October. Then we'll reevaluate. But um, it'll have the strict outdoor protocol that we have, we have set up and we've already done two of those and it went really well with social distancing, masks, all the things that we were supposed to do. Um, then uh, the, the second option is an indoor option. And we knew that there were people that needed an indoor option, but we knew that an indoor option really needed to be as safe as it could be. So what we're doing is we're taking the online video, uh, the, ser the sermon and the live music that's on there, the singing music that the praise group does, and we're gonna use those in the service, but we're gonna begin that service with instrumental live music and we're gonna have instrumental live music at the end and also maybe some in the middle. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a place where there's not gonna be anybody speaking uh, live, except for maybe with a mask on, but everybody, musicians, pastor, congregation will all have masks on at all times. And we just knew that, that some of our more health compromised and some of our older members needed a way that they could really be safe but also be able to be back in the sanctuary worshiping. So that's what we're gonna do for right now. And uh, I hope you'll keep that in your prayers. I'm excited also to tell you, mark your calendars that we will do one Sunday night uh, tailgate party, party service. It will be kind of a party because it's gonna be World Communion Sunday and the birthday of Cedar Lane. We're gonna celebrate both of those that night and that will be October the 4th, and we'll have that service at 5 p.m. So mark that on your calendars and get excited about it. You know, I don't always talk about, and you know that, I don't always talk about things like this on my Just a Minutes, but I thought, I thought this warranted it. And I hope that you, whether you're part of Cedar Lane or whether you're just hearing this, I hope you'll pray because we just want to do the right things. We want to protect people. We understand the needs that we have to gather but we also try to temper those with, with the current situation. And so uh, keep that in your prayers. Tomorrow, there will be another uh, Just a Minute that's gonna kind of look at what it's gonna be like to walk in the building. So uh, get ready for that one, and I hope you have a good night.